Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, we'll discuss orders, line items, creatives, and Google Ad Manager. Before we start, make sure you are aware of your limits. In Google Ad Manager, go to Admin Global Settings, and this will tell you the maximum number of line items you're allowed to make or create, number of line items per order, number of creatives, creatives per line item, and all other important stuff. On this page, you will see how many you have currently out of the maximum number you're allowed to create. If you also have line items that are scheduled at a future date to go live, you will see the upcoming active line item count in here. Now let's talk about orders. An order is where you specify the agreement with the ad network you're trying to set up in Google Ad Manager. It is mainly used to organize different partners or ad networks that you're trying to work with. So for example, I'm running OpenX, AdExchange, and AppNexus. Then I can go ahead and create three different orders for them in here. One for AdExchange, one for OpenX, and one for AppNexus. That way, I will be able to organize the corresponding line items accordingly without mixing them up. That way, it will help me with my ad optimization strategies, and it's easier for me to run reports as well. So when you click a new order, Give it a name. You can say if this is for OpenX, you can just call it OpenX. Specify the advertiser name or the ad network name. Fill in the other information in here as necessary or as needed, although they are optional. You can also add some notes to document some details of the agreement. Then add line item. Now inside the order is the line item. And when you click add line item in the previous step, it will automatically save the order. You can then select the type of line item you're trying to set up, display or video. Now the line item is now where you specify targeting criteria, the priority of this line item or ad network in the auction, which ad sizes you would like to deliver or be eligible. And you can also set up the delivery settings schedule on when it, you would like it to start, when you would like it to end, set frequency caps, and all other targeting criteria. The bottom line with line item is that this is where all your controls are. Well, not all, but mostly. And this is where you can specify which section of your inventory this advertiser or ad network is eligible to serve and how often they can serve, what is their priority in the auction. Now, if you ask, how many line items do we need to create? It really depends on the type of agreement that you received or you closed with the ad network. For example, they offered you different rates per device, one rate for desktop, one rate for mobile, different CPMs. Then you set up one line item for desktop and another line item for mobile. And that way you will be able to set up their CPM rates and all the information or details accordingly. And what if you received an offer by geo or by country? Let's say, oh, I have an offer for US for $5 CPM. For Canada, I got an offer for only $3 CPM. And rest of the world, I have $1 CPM offer. Then you will also have to set up a separate line item for geo according to those rates offered to you. And of course, in which case, targeting is very important because this is now where you have to honor the agreement with the rep or with the ad network. If they say we only ha have to target US, then target USA or United States in the geo here. And if they say target desktop only, then you also have to target the appropriate device category. Now the next layer in this setup is the creatives. Now when you save your line item, it will then require for a creative to be uploaded. And when you upload a creative, you have all these options in here and select the appropriate one for the tag that was provided to you by the ad network. Most commonly used is third party for HTML JavaScript tags or image if it was an image ad. We'll use third party in this example. Now, where will the creative come from? For example, I work with OpenX. I can go to their user interface, create the ad units myself, and I can generate the tag from there. Now, it depends per ad network. Some ad networks, it's self-service, for some, the ad rep has to provide it to you. When I say ad rep, I'm referring to your account manager or your point of contact. So if it's 
self-service, go ahead, create the ad units there that you wish to or that you need, generate the tag, go back to ad manager and deploy the tag in there. This creative is now what triggers the ad call and the ad serving. This is what makes OpenX be able to communicate with Google Ad Manager, be able to target those ad units you specified in your line item settings, and serve the ad if it wins the auction.